Are we rolling now, by God? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sean Brock here with you again, folks, for uh, Dale Owen, Dale Showstoppers on Reverb and the Man of the Cafe. And I've been looking forward to this for years, for years. Uh, what we have here, now, by the way, see that description box if you're interested in this guitar. Uh, if you want to talk to Dale about purchasing it, uh, we'll have uh, his contact info and if applicable or when applicable, we will have the reverb link also, so you can check this thing out and get that affirm financing. Uh, this is a custom shop, CF Martin and Company custom shop, recreation, 1937 authentic, VTS aged, D18. So what you've been seeing come up uh, you know, we've had the 39s out, and we've had the uh, 37 D28s. And now, here we've got a D18 that is VTS aged. This thing is distressed somewhat. And it's got that big old fat neck on it. And we're going to play through her. And this is, this is exciting. This is kind of world debut, if you will, of this uh, custom shop uh, creation right here and we'll we'll play some of our usual stuff on won't to <laughs>
Check out the bass on this. Yes, sir, we'll be like the Jeffersons. We'll get this thing moving on up. And like I said, this has got the uh, the authentic neck on it. Uh, you know, it's not a low, low oval neck. Thanks, thanks be to the custom shop, I guess. This thing is absolutely just so fun to play with a capo it's it's got a good sound with a capo to me it's i don't know it's 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 just good and powerful and beefy see what you think transition on it as well string to string <clears throat> it's not ultra dry but it's dry you know it's just a, just <laughs> oh wait a minute B flat People say, why do you always do that when you yell B flat? Years ago, when I lived in Cincinnati, Ohio, I played for a long time in a band called the Comet Bluegrass All Stars. We had a, a buddy of ours come up and uh, play fiddle on a number with us. And he, we got done with the song, and he said, Boys, I'm real sorry. I never was very good in the key of B. And Jeff Roberts, the banjo player, said, Man, it was in B flat. That's why I always yell that. All right, so B flat. <laughs> I just like this guitar with a capo. B. It slaps nice. Yeah. 
plays pretty too. Plays nice, soft. the way it'll open up for you. Just a bam right there in your face. I like that. So let's try out the fifth fret here, key of C. color test should do well on this one. Let me tell you what I know. I don't know much. Uh, but as I mentioned, right up front, Adirondack Red Spruce. I didn't mention that. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. You probably assumed it, though. Adirondack Red Spruce aged VTS top and braces. So the VTS is the Vintage Tone System. Uh, what folks will call torrified or baked top and braces aged being also you know they they beat her up a little bit strategically very strategically um, very strategically you know there's some stuff like over here on the the edge of the the pit guard it's kind of beat up and stuff and you know, there's a few spots it's very tasteful very tasteful it's not overdone or anything like that it's nice so VTS aged Adirondack red spruce top braces. Real nice mahogany on this. Uh, standard kind of D18 appointments, which to me is uh, always pretty. You know, there's, there's a lot of beauty in, in simplicity. There's the old back there. And the other side. Uh, neck. Well, uh, the Bevany Bridge, Fairboard, uh, saddle. There's a lot of saddle in this. Uh, I'll be dead honest with you. I've, I've mentioned this to Dale. So by the time you see this video, or almost by the time you see this video, uh, by the time you see this guitar on the market, I think the action will be took down some. Uh, Martin, uh, uh, somebody was drunk in the pleck line or something. Uh, the action is just a little bit high on this, to be honest with you, uh, both at the net and at the saddle. It's a little bit high and there's a ton of saddle in there. So 
uh, we're we're going to bring her down soon. So that's a non non issue really, because uh, Dale's uh, very particular about the setup on stuff when you know when it comes into me, uh, and he hasn't he hasn't got to see him play this guitar yet, or uh, you know when it comes into him and it's going to go out to a customer. Uh, everything goes. He's he's got a really good uh, setup uh, luthier over there in Asheville, North Carolina, and uh, so this this will come down a little bit. But nonetheless, man, uh, nice uh, neck mahogany. She's a handful, boys and girls. She is a handful. Uh, very 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 beautiful job rounding over the fretboard it's just this is this is one of the nicest i've seen it's not overdone it's not underdone and uh just i i love that they did such a wonderful job in the custom shop on the on the fretboard edges of this um waverly open backs on here the old aged Nickel finish, I, I've said before, they, those are my favorite tuners. I mean, I just over, I, I like all the Waverly's myself, but um, I'm just as happy with these relic or aged nickel tuners, uh, butter beans, but as I am with just anything. I mean, any of the, uh, I'd rather have these than the engraved gold. I just, I just like them. I don't know why. Um, I don't know what other appointments there is to say. Like I say, it's a vintage, vintage style neck. Of course, uh, ebony pins, uh, bridge pins are what's in it. Stock from the factory. This is a brand new guitar. This is a 2022 brand new. And I've one upped him because I've got to play it here for a couple days. And he's not even seen it yet, so... <laughs> If you're interested in this guitar, see the description box. Uh, you can call or email Dale. Uh, you can check out all of his selections on Reverb. He's got a ton of great stuff right now. And uh, you can call and talk to him about it, email him. And, uh, you know, he, he may put this in your home. He just might. And if he don't put this one in there, he'll put something else in there. And whatever it is, man, I, I guarantee you, you'll like it. There's just been some really, um, you know, last year we had a lot of really good stuff come through in 2021. But I swear to you, this first quarter of 2022, I think that the best guitars we've had have come through. It's, it's just amazing to me. Uh, it seems like every everything that comes is just a little a little more out there a little more up there and uh, uh, just the overall package and this one you know certainly is no exception i've been waiting for years for for uh, somebody to get on the ball and get these ordered get a, a custom shop uh, d1837 aged uh, you know, with the 37 bracing and everything like this one has. And this one, it just, well, you heard it. You heard it. I mean, don't let me tell you. You heard it. It's a privilege to to play one of these first, if not the first one, out of the custom shop with these specs. Again, see the description box. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. Like, share, comment, and do all that good stuff.
Tell me your story about a fiddle player in B-flat. <laughs> this has been Sean Brock. I appreciate you guys, and take care. Mm -hmm.